That's right, guys. We're doing a lure for Fishman TV today. But before we get to that, I want to shout out to my buddy Bill Lewis, Shredfin Fishing. This shirt is awesome. I won it in one of his contests. Go check him out if you haven't already. Anyways, back to the whole meaning of this video. Brandon Teeters over he's aka fish the fishman uh, from fishman.tv he's one of my buddies from YouTube uh, we got a like little friendly competition race we're racing up to the top um, but I want to kick back and do a lure for him uh, we're gonna turn this so he's from Montana and they have a lot of trout up there I'm always seeing him catching trout so I'm gonna turn this jerk bay right here into a little rainbow trout yeah, I don't really have anything else to say other than that. So let's get to painting this thing. Fishman Rainbow Trout. Alright guys, so... Uh, here's our bait. It's a jerk bait. It's pretty small compared to normal jerk baits like uh, like Rapala ones. Just to give you a size comparison there. Uh, I changed up the white I've been using. I switched up to golden uh, fluid acrylics. It's high flow. This titanium white it covers a lot better, a lot faster. Um, so yeah, titanium white it will be our base coat. One thing about this, I do not reduce this color, and I do not, um, well, I just totally went brain dead there. I do not reduce this color at all, basically, we'll just say that. All right, there you go. We got our white base coat down. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and heat set this real fast and then we'll come back and add some pearl white next. All right guys, so we have that white base coat down. We're gonna add this pearl white. It's just for the belly. Uh, the trout, like the rainbow trout, have a very white belly. So we're gonna give it that white uh, pearl and then we'll cover everything else up and then we'll go from there. Boom, pearl white down. All right guys, I have the next color already loaded in the chamber. It is this uh, Wicked Silver. I'm gonna hit down from the top, down most of it, and we're gonna fade to let this white belly show through on the very bottom. kind of hard to pick up but there's definitely a silver fade there get a little bit darker all right there you go got our silver all right guys so now is the time when I'm going to green up this sucker so to make the color I'm about to use, I came back to this uh, Folk Art Metallic Peridot. Uh, I, whoa, a little bit of wobbly there. I threw in a lot of reducer. So anytime I use any Folk Art or a heavy metallic, I'm most likely going to reduce it a little bit and shoot it at a higher PSI. And then to make it more of a spearminty color, I threw in some pearl white. And this is what we're left with. So, give me a moment, I'll load up and we'll go.
All right, there's our base green from green to silver to white. Uh, now all we have left to do is darken up this green. I'm gonna probably end up actually coming right here. Hold up. There we go, that's a little better. Uh, next up, I will darken that green and give it a couple layers on top, and then we'll come through and give it that beautiful pink stripe they're known for, and then a little couple details. So the next step I did was add a tiny drop of transparent black in there. I mixed it up, I ended up adding two or three, I don't remember the exact ratio, but we're going to put just over the back so that we get that dark, top it's gonna take quite a bit of layers because this is not much darker than the paint we're slinging on and I don't want to get it too built up so you can barely see that transition get you a little bit closer there but that's what we're looking for so I'm gonna heat set this sucker and do that two or three times and then we'll go from there Alright, so we're gonna give you one more good heat set and then I got a special idea for the top. A fun thing I like to do is take this material and use it for details. Something like so. I guess I better put that on so you guys could see it. All right, we'll give it one more heat set and then we'll reveal, see if this, whoops, see if this actually did anything or not. We're going for a real subtle effect anyways. These trout don't have very much pattern to them. Perfect. So, some like that. All right, I'm gonna continue on with this sucker. So now's the time when we're gonna add that pink line on the uh, trout here. Here's the color I came up with. It kind of looks like Pepto-Bismol. It is a mixture of our normal white, fluorescent pink, and some pearl white. Man, I'm not paying enough attention to that today, but who cares? I'm gonna slap some paint and we'll keep this paint job rolling. Something like that. Just like so. All right, I'm gonna go in and just add some green back into the face to fix a little bit of that pink I added. dropped her there. Boom. So now all I have left to do is I'm going to come back and add a tiny bit of highlights around the eyes one stripe down the back and then I'm gonna come in with some black dots and that'll be it. 
Okay, so here we go. We're going to add the black around the eyes just to highlight them when we put on the eyeballs. Just like so. Next, we're going to add in this. There's three different ones here, but we're going to be using this bottom one. It's like that. Tiny little fin for our tiny little uh, rainbow trout. Now we need to take note of where we put this so that way I can match it up on the other side here. So the center of it looks to be above this uh, hook holder and the tip of it is in the middle of the pink. So hopefully, I think right there will be good, hopefully. If not, we're Bob's Rock. We're gonna pull a Bob Ross in this bitch. A little high. I mean, looking from there, they're barely off. I mean, you can tell, but just barely. A fish ain't gonna be able to tell when he eats this sucker, so. Yeah, I like it so far. Let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna clean out my brush and I'll come back and do the final details. All right, this is gonna be a little bit harder to see just because of the angle. But this is where I go back and add the actual dots. So I have some transparent black I put in a dish here. I'm just throwing it around everywhere. And I just get this sucker dotted up. Smat in a little bit more. Ooh, I just smack. oh, I got lucky. Smacked the bottom there with this. So I added a couple dots on the tail there. Um, one cool thing about the trout is their tail and fins are spotted as well. So hopefully that will uh, simulate that. Also another thing, I'm using this transparent black paint. So that way when it, they're, they look solid, but when they dry, they tend to fade a little bit more in. Like you'll see in the face, you'll see once this dries. Cool, something like that. All right guys, so next it's time to put eyes on this guy. Get our super glue. One drop, two drops. That one's a little bit excessive. All right, we've got our eyes here. It would help if I hit where they go. Made a mess with that super glue. There you go. Got some eyes on him. Next, I will do a pre-clear coat. Uh, just a spray on clear, and then we'll get our real clear coat. But there's one secret step in between these I'm going to do, but you'll have to stay tuned to see it. Boom. There it is, guys. Official Fishman TV bait. Um... I've been planning on painting this specific pattern for this bait for a while now, 
Brandon is always catching trout in his area. Granted, this is a bass bait, but it sure as heck looks like some of them trout he's catching. So hopefully, he can throw that and catch him a tank on it. This is the end of the video, guys. First off, I've got a couple things. Very first thing you need to do, go to Fishman TV. Check him out. He's in a race to get to 500 subs, and I'm chasing his ass. But check him out. He deserves it. Uh, second thing, like, comment, subscribe. That's three different things in one, so you better get get busy. Um, I'll let you guys get to that. Tide lines from me and my buddy Brandon and Dave's Danglers. <laughs>